Hello everybody and welcome to another video with me a little pink and today I'm gonna show you guys the text tool and the character panel this will be another Photoshop basics video and I know it's simple but you might not know some of this stuff okay so the text tool is right down here you can go right click horizontal type tool vertical type tool horizontal type mask tool vertical type mask tool so we're gonna select the horizontal type tool and type and I'm gonna get the vertical type tool and type in we have the horizontal type tool and as you can see this is the default one and it enters your text horizontally the other one is the vertical type tool and it inserts your text vertically so you don't have to type and their type and their type i don't really use the vertical type tool because look at this i'm gonna i'm gonna select the horizontal text though with it i'm gonna go and click this one this icon right over here and it transforms it to the vertical so this is really quick and easy you then just open it right click open just click it here see and same thing goes with this one just click it click it okay so we have our text right over here and we're if you want to change the font i think that this is kind of obvious we're gonna click the drop down box right over here and i'm currently using bebas but we're gonna change it to lavenderia so this is what the Lavenderia font looks like and as you can see there's another drop down box right over here this is the font style so not all fonts have this there are only certain fonts it depends on the creator of the font so you're gonna click down the drop down box and you'll get different styles and it, as i said it depends on the creator sometimes it there are like dotted styles there are jagged lines thicker thinner and sometimes there's this creative ones and okay so next we have the font size and you can just put your cursor hover your cursor and drag right to make it bigger or drag left to make it smaller and you're gonna drag it when this cursor when your cursor changes but you could also go to the drop down box or type in your font size like so okay so the next one is the font so I'm gonna open the drop down box and it's currently on sharp and I'm gonna zoom in so that you guys could see the difference. Okay, so what this does is when I put it on none, this is what it looks like with its jagged edges. If you don't apply any effects on it, so we're gonna put it on sharp and as you can see it smoothens out a bit but you could some jagged edges. So put it on Chris. There's not much difference, but you could see it in different fonts. So in strong, the jagged dies become stronger, and when you put it on smooth, it smoothens it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like on sharp, crisp, strong, and smooth. Now we also have the align left, align center, and align right. It aligns the text based on this little square right here. So I'm gonna align it to center. And next we also have your font color. So you're gonna you're gonna select the character or text you want to change the color and change it to whatever color that you want. Next we have the text warp or warp text. I'm gonna click this icon right here and you're gonna click the style to arc. Arc lower, arc upper, arc bulge, shell lower, shell upper, flag, wave, fish, rise, fish eye, inflate, we twist. This is really cool if you're gonna do a hipster style typography poster. I'm gonna do a, a different video about that, but this is really cool. Just you could do so much with just one font. You could adjust the bending, like so, the horizontal distortion, the vertical distortion. Or you could put it on horizontal or vertical. The vertical usually looks weird. That's the text tool and the text toolbar. We have this city scape picture. And I'm gonna go right click again and get the horizontal type mask tool. And when you click on your image, the image would have a red overlay. So I type in a lot of pink and you're gonna position it anywhere you wanted it to. I'm gonna put it right over here. And when you click, you could do the same adjustments as you did earlier, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm gonna just gonna click OK. Commit any current edits. And what it does it is that it creates a selection. And I'm gonna go Control J, close this. As you can see, it made a selection of your image. So basically, that's what it is. And same thing goes 
for the vertical type mask tool except it does it vertically and this is quick and easy then just typing your text rasterizing the layer go select the background select inverse it's just so much work all right back on to our text we're gonna go and click this one and this is the characters panel you could also go windows and check characters right over here okay, so in the character panel we have our font our font style our font size and the next one i'm gonna show it to you okay so the next one is on 101 pixels and this is called the leading okay so the leading controls this line between the spaces i'm going to put it on auto this is the default one and when i put it okay so the higher the pixels the further apart they become and the lower the pixels the closer together they become and this is really helpful especially when the font you get and when you enter there's just this huge space between the text and it's just so annoying because it takes up so much space when it doesn't need to okay so next we have the tracking and we select it all again and it's currently at zero and zero is the default and when i put it on five i'm gonna put it on 100 the tracking controls the space between the letters so when i put it on negative 100 it becomes so close when i put it on 200 it becomes so far apart i'm gonna select it all again put it back to its default zero okay so next we have the kerning this is the kerning the one with nothing on it and the default is on metrics and this is what it looks like as the designers design the font but if you put it on optical photoshop fixes it so that it has the proper spacing and all of those fun stuff next we have the vertical and horizontal scale and first we have the vertical scale i'm gonna select our text and the vertical scale is currently at 100 percent which is the normal size and if i put it lower at let's say 50 percent it was compressed half of its size vertically when i put it on 321 percent it stretched vertically so so next we also have the horizontal and same thing happens to it the text itself stretches or compresses okay so next we have the baseline shift and for you to see it i'm going to just select one and this is your baseline this line underneath your text i'm gonna select the letter p and i'm gonna put it on negative 64 as you can see it lowers the text it lowers your baseline Line. and if i select the letter b and put it higher it moves up so it gives this cookie kind of thing all right so next we have additional type options if i'm not mistaken um i'm going to change the font so you can see how it is we're gonna go with berlin sans uh okay center so now we have the font center and then i'm going to select the first one which is so bold which is basically is bold and next we have italicized so italic and the next we have the all caps and it makes your letters all capitalized like so the next one is small caps the letter i was capitalized originally and the rest wasn't this was all capitalized but it was smaller than the originally capitalized if that makes sense so next we have the superscript okay for an example you want to type some math equation or something you're gonna select two because it's supposed to be squared it's supposed to be up there you're gonna click superscript and it will be smaller and it will be moved upwards next we have the subscript and I'm gonna type in h2o in h2o the number two should be should be smaller and be underneath so you're gonna select subscript and it'll be under there like so okay so next i'm gonna select it all again and we have underline basically underlines your text duh next we have structure it puts a line between your text next you also have your language kind of thing i'm learning french guys and italian and you also have the sharp crisp smooth strong in here okay Okay, so thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you want to see in the next video subscribe for more videos every friday i do i do photoshop videos pc personalization sims 4 videos and vlog and go check out my blog with a letter b it will be in your screen and it will appear in the description box as a link go check it out it's fun okay thanks for watching and have a great morning afternoon or evening i don't know bye